What's going on guys? So today, I wanted to go over a machine we use here at the gym a lot. And you know, every brand of machine, you know, whether it's you know, a Life Fitness or Hammer Strength or Knotless or Cybex, they have those few machines that are just perfect, that are just where they really need to be if you understand how to level out your body to really get the response that you want. So today we're going over the hammer front pull down. So you'll notice in the video, I'm actually doing it unilaterally, so it's one arm at a time. And that is to more effectively target the actual lat versus the teres major, minor, upper back, traps, rhomboids. So whenever we do things bilaterally for our back, when it gets to especially at the end towards those pivotal reps, those reps that are the growth reps where muscle starts to break down, you start to get a neurological adaptation, you're gonna really want to retract and once you retract, you've cued in the middle back for activation, so you haven't really hit the lat. So you notice in this video, when I strap in and get ready to go, I sit down, I guess slight lean back, I take my elbow slightly in, and I depress my shoulder. Once we lean back a little bit, depress our shoulder down to make sure that elbow is rotated in, all right, so an external humerus rotation, we can actually lock our actual lat in as opposed to upper back. You'll know, notice my, my torso stays approximately in the same position with the exception of the last few reps where I do start a slight turn to really get down, really squeeze and get all the life out of that lap I possibly can. So this machine, this range of motion can be duplicated very easily. Now the strength curve, not so much, but for a lot of people that are in gyms that don't have hammer front pull down, a simple cable you know, front pull down can do the same thing. The only difference is I'd have you sit back a little further and that way it's more of a high row angle versus a pull down angle. If you actually look at the anatomy of the actual lats, the lats actually, muscle fibers come in, all right, at a slight, you know, 30 degree, 35 degrees. They're not up and down, all right, and they're not straight across. They come sweeping down. So we do want to mimic that plane when we go to actually target the lat. So this is a very big understanding and motion for, you know, those who are into, you know, swimming, those who are into climbing, those who are into just understanding how to activate the lat from a pulling sensation. So a lot of uh, CrossFit you know, individuals that I work with and work with, this is a range of motion that we do to help them understand how to activate the lats. This can help in Olympic weightlifting, you know, all the aforementioned things I just said. Also, if you're just looking to just get stronger, you do need to learn how to activate your lats before you go into a pull. So one of the first things I do when people come here and they don't know they're going through a pull or an Olympic variation, they're just yanking off the floor. They're typically using their traps, their upper back, and they're using their lower back. There's a whole mis disconnect from the mid-erectors to the actual lats that don't exist. So that is a key thing that we do uh, when they come here to train. So you will notice when I'm going through this, the last you know, one or two reps, very rough, they start to get a little shaky. As long as your athletes are having the position held and they're actually getting contraction. Those last one or two, as long as their pattern is good, I would not worry about it so much. The only thing I would really worry about seeing is if that shoulder uncouples and they're re-engaging, they're gonna start burning out the shoulder. And that's why you start getting a lot of like pulls and strains in the rotator cuff and the biceps tendon, which comes up over the acromion process and attaches up top. So I would definitely watch out for that. However, like I said before, if you don't have this machine, a cable pull down and a slight high row variation, very good. A lot of gyms have those spud ink straps with the pulley. That works great. Just make sure when you're doing it, when you pull all the way in, once your arm gets to 90 degrees, that is for the most part, with the exception of a little bit of rotation you'll see in the video, that's it. Once I start getting past that and start curling, it starts with my bicep. Once it goes to my bicep, no matter how much I raise my chest, if I keep doing this, my shoulder is gonna start pronating. It's gonna start going to my upper back and shoulder, rotator cuff and it's gonna, you're gonna lose the lat completely, the middle rectors are gonna start rolling out, and that's when you lose contraction of the lat. Remember, the function of the actual lat is to bring the humerus down and slightly back. That's all it is. Anything more than that is extracurricular. All right, so check the video out. Ciao for now, have a good one. Five! Five!